<laughs> My name is Jeremy Plunkett. I'm uh, now a new instructor to uh, the first year program. I am new to UWM, but not new to Milwaukee. I grew up in Ohio, um, and I did my schooling at Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio for my undergraduate degree. And then I went to Ohio University for my MFA in painting. And um, this is what my work primarily revolves around, um, painting and um, my undergraduate degree, I did uh, uh, emphasis in printmaking. And both uh, degrees were celebrated with um, exhibitions and drawing. Um, so I tend to, you know, circle around to a lot of different media that is 2D focused and um, and this talk is going to be really about where I was when I first uh, got introduced to UWM and then where I'm at now kind of com coming back to UWM and that's with um, the Southern Graphics Printmaking Conference and this was my um, project that I did. It was all about uh, the bicycle and forging community with printmaking and using a bicycle to um, make prints. This was a project right out in Spates Plaza. And I inked a tire up on a bike and we carved some uh, tires and we, we printed with them. And then as part of that, we had a community bike ride, which was really fun. The artists in um, the print conference, we they I got dream bikes to donate some bicycles for just the ride. And we rode down, there's the Oak Leaf Trail. We stopped at the Urban Ecology Center. Um, got to show off Milwaukee from a lot of artists that were not not from the city. So they got to see this. And then we ended at the uh, exhibition that I um, curated for the project. And that was all um, bike related printmaking. So it was just about gears, human propulsion, forming communities, um, kind of the revel, the revolving aspect of cycling and printmaking together. And that's my print uh, on the bottom left. And um, and the prints on the right there are the ones that we used with the bicycle in the demonstration um, that was up there. And this led me to say, I need to get a press of my own. I was using UWM and I was really happy to be around the students printing my edition for that project. But I was just kind of always looking for a press and I found one in South Carolina for 1500 bucks. So I called up a friend and said, let's get let's get this. And I restored it. It was in pretty rough shape. It was in the carport up in that top left photo in someone's home. And um, yeah, I got my own press and I started doing more printmaking again. Um, in mezzotint is the process that I work in the most. It's an intaglio form of printmaking where you use a copper plate and a lot of the burr on the surface to develop, uh, that is a ground, it holds ink and you burnish that back to create the lights. And my work revolves around the plastic bag and that light source of the mezzotint because I use a bag to sort of see the plate and then it, it became sort of this like, thing about ecology. It led me to my artist residency um, that was in 2013, right immediately following the print conference. It was in Cincinnati, Ohio. So it brought me back to Ohio for a one year. This gallery is amazing. Manifest Creative Research Gallery and Drawing Center. Um, if you haven't checked it out before, please look into it. It is a, a nonprofit space that does open exhibition calls. And these were some of the works uh, that I did at the residency um, relating to the plastic bag again. I was really thinking about uh, just the nature of plastic. I didn't have a car. I was using my panniers on my bike um, in Cincinnati and I was doing grocery runs and I was just thinking how much plastic is used. I was even using it as a recycling method for mes mesotent, but as enamored with the light that could be um, behind it and like what that meant. And um, that, that I got a nice solo show at that um, exhibition. And that led me to another solo show in Columbus, Ohio at the Roy G. Biv Gallery, another nonprofit space, which is an also amazing space to check out. And then um, uh, continuing that work again, back into printmaking with the Frogman's print making workshops. Um, so this was about 2015, did that, and it was an amazing experience for students to look into, the printmaking students. And then following that, I uh, started 
for four years working in a production studio in stained glass, very closely related to um, printmaking. And that led me to my return to teaching, actually, because after four years of doing this production art, um, I had a craving for teaching again. It's all about the process and in and, and a studio, and I needed more human contact with kids. So here I am. Thank you.